Moving on here, the crossfader. This is key. This is very important that you understand uh, how to use the crossfader. So I actually have the crossfader mapped, and again, I'll show you how I map these things. But if you look over here on the bottom right-hand side, you see how this is moving back and forth. Again, that's because I have it mapped to my, my keyboard. But really, this crossfader allows me to access what I would call deck A and deck B. So if you're not seeing that, okay, you have to access the panel right here. This is the show hide crossfader section, this little X symbol. It's probably hard to see on my screen, but check out your Ableton. You should see this as well. So you hit this X button right here, and this will open up, okay, not only the crossfader, but right here you'll have an option to select between Dex A and Dex B. So really what that's doing is splitting the signal of these two decks, and that's why I renamed this one Dex A and Dex B. Dex B. You can customize this how you want, but make sure you highlight when you first activate this. Highlight so this one will only play on deck A, which is all the way to the left here, and then this one is selected so it's only going to play on deck B. Now when I have the crossfader in the middle, you'll hear both signals, but when I start to move it to the left, the deck B would start to fade out. And then um, if you go all the way to the left, you're only hearing deck A exclusively. So let me just demonstrate that so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. If I go ahead and bring it all the way over to deck A, and even if I decide to you know, use a scene like this and hit play on both of these at the same time, you're only going to hear, okay? You're only hearing deck A right now, but check this out. So I'm gonna open up the filter. Like this. Okay, and right now you're hearing both tracks playing at the same time. I just low pass both of them, but it's the crossfader's right in the middle. And if I keep moving the crossfader to the right, it's going to inevitably end up just only playing deck B. Okay. And so you can see here, if you look at deck B, the signal that's coming through is only on deck B. And let me move it back to deck A. Okay. So you can see there how both of these decks are being played at the same time. Even though they might be playing at the same time, that doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna hear both of them at the same time. And that's because of this crossfader. So the crossfader, so again, I for those of you who have experienced DJing using hard like DJing hardware, um, like meaning like an actual mixer, there's something called a crossfader where you can cross between the two signals. Okay. And literally from deck A will turn off deck B. And then if you move it over to deck B, that will turn off deck A. But if you put it right in the middle, you could have them playing both at the same time, AKA mixing two songs together, okay? So yeah, that's a really important um, uh, understanding the crossfader A, B mixing control. And again, right here, this is where you can access it. And even if I um, turn off X, I even if I remember my MIDI mapping, I don't need this on all the time. I can go ahead and collapse this if I don't want to look at it anymore. 